Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome back to a professional match of StarCraft 2. Now what I've got for you today is a long drawn out macro game of Protoss versus Protoss. After this recently was played during Dreamhack Winter, a lot of you reached out and mentioned that this is one of the greatest games of Protoss versus Protoss that has ever been played. Now, I haven't seen it yet myself, I was really really tempted to check out the VODs, but now that the replays are available, I figured let's go ahead and cast it myself. In case you're interested in the replay pack as well by the way whenever there's like a new big replay pack available i always try and retweet that so check out my twitter in case you're interested it's at loco tv anyways spawning here in the top left hand corner of the map light shade playing with the blue protos probes from south korea we have one of the highest ranked protos in the world and his nickname is trap when it comes to talking about who the greatest protos player is currently it's always a little bit difficult to say but i would say it's either trap or stats both of them are looking absolutely phenomenal right now, and I do think that because of that, the opponent is going to have a pretty tough road ahead of him. Playing here in the opposite corner with the Red Protoss Probes from the United States of America, we have the Protoss Hope, and his name is Astrea. Now, Astrea is just fresh off of a Premier Tournament victory. He ended up taking down Neep in the Dreamhack Winter North American Finals, which is his very first Premier Tournament victory, and it's really quite impressive. This guy was a relatively unknown player like a year ago, and at this point, I mean, he's winning Premier Tournaments, apparently. Well, he's won one, but he won against Neep, right? Who was previously considered to be the best player from North America. I mean, maybe he still is, obviously. It's just one series, and, and you know, one series is maybe not the best uh, to judge a one player off of, but there's no denying that Estrella is very good. And one thing that I always like pointing out about Estrella, which still kind of boggles my mind, why he even plays under the name Estrella, Estrella's actual, like, real-life name is Max Angel. I mean, I've mentioned this before, but his name literally is Max Angel. I think about that every single time that I see his nickname. Like, that's such a perfect name. <laughs> it's like, it doesn't get much better than Max Angel, right? I was trying to think, like, what would be the best name to have, right, as a human being? Max Angel is certainly, like, you know, point one, like, top 0.1%. That, that's a fantastic name. Regardless, like, I've got a last name that nobody can pronounce. Which, yeah, you know, it is what it is. Regardless, we do have a double gateway opener right here from Trap, who's now transitioning to watch his own Stargate. Astrea decided to skip the second gateway and went for a little bit of a quicker Stargate himself. So this does create the opportunity for him to go for a little bit of harassment. But obviously there's going to be more Stalkers out right now for the player in blue, who's been happily making those for a little while. Now Trap is sending a probe across the map. He will figure out... At the very least that there's only one of these bad boys, and he also does see the timing right there of that Nexus. And immediately, look at that. The Stalkers seem to be marching um, towards the other side of the map. I mean, you're gonna need a shield battery on the low ground really quickly, uh, Astrea. I think you're gonna be in a little bit of trouble otherwise. There's gonna be an Oracle here coming up for Astrea as well, so that's not really gonna help him out that much in defending. Obviously, this is gonna be fantastic while you're... You know, busy maybe microing your stalkers at home to pick off a couple of those probes instead of your opponent's mineral line or maybe put down a stasis ward or something along those lines. It's gonna be a, a phoenix instead right now by the player in blue, but here we go. Little bit of stalker micro. There's a shield battery coming up on the low ground. Trap is trying to see if he can potentially get one of those stalkers, and I think he might. Yeah, there you go. Not bad at all. And this now creates a bit of a dire scenario for the player in red though, because how are you gonna hold on to your natural expansion? So there's a Void right now coming up as a follow-up, so that's something. But he's gonna be in a world of trouble. So Battery Overcharge obviously is available. Ooh, the Shield Battery will have energy here for a little bit, but you can see the little purple number right there in the bottom right-hand corner. Pinkish, purplish, whatever color that is. Um, once that's depleted, you have to overcharge, because otherwise it won't continue healing. Alright. Here's that Oracle going across. I think it's headed for the main base. Yeah, it's skipping the natural here because it's not done just yet. Four Stalkers and two Phoenixes. This is actually very, very scary right now. Now, he does back off. Just barely in time to get in range right there of the battery overcharge. At the same time, apparently, the Oracle ugh, activating the Pulsar Beam. It's okay. Apparently, the Phoenixes will actually now be recalled. I feel like it would have been better to maybe go for a Stasis Ward instead while you're microing the Stalkers. But looks like things are, uh, are okay right now at the very least for Astrea. Just barely holds on here. Now, he didn't really get a whole lot of damage done, right? And Trap certainly is in a pretty good position here. So apparently this is the moment where Estrella has decided, you know what, I'm going to go ahead. I need to get something done. I'm going to go ahead and plant down my own Dark Shrine. Hmm. He did plant down a pylon on the other side of the map. 
Relatively difficult to spot location. This is not something that Trap has really seen. Good wall off completion right there by Estrella, but uh, he needs to hold on to this aggression, right? And Trap actually now has pretty much enough Phoenixes, yeah, to lift literally every single unit here that Estrella can shoot with. Now the Oracle is still, yeah, okay, this time around is gonna go for a Stasis Ward. Good response though by Trap, really on point with his defense, not really taking a whole lot of damage. Phoenix is right now going to the main base. Now this Dark Shrine is a problem though, because if you look at this, yeah, the Robo Facility is only about halfway done. Two Dark Templar right now get warped in. I think one of them, or one of them is gonna head into the main base and one of them is gonna go to the natural. Void Ray from earlier, I don't think it helped out in the defense. Probably could have used that earlier, actually. I forgot that he was even making that one. But um, he did not uh, get a whole lot of value out of that. Once again, the Stasis Ward puts a couple of those units on idle, but here we go. These are the two guys to watch out for. Okay, I love this. Splitting them up. Since these units do one-shot probes, um, you don't actually have to, like, worry too much there about the shield battery, so this is already dealing a lot of damage. Chrono boosting out, right now that Observer is a trap, but... <laughs> is a trap? It's trap! <laughs> but he is in a little bit of trouble here, though. Yeah, you need to make sure they stay split up, so you get maximum damage done here. Where's that Observer gonna go? Observer apparently will be heading towards the natural. I mean, he can maybe find it here eventually. Nine probes end up going down, but these, uh, DTs have been absolutely... Phenomenal. Oh, this guy actually decided to go home. All right, I see. Maybe not the perfect target firing right there by Estrella, but this certainly puts him back on the board right now, right? He decides to plant down a third Nexus here on the right-hand side of the map. And, well, he's like uh, a dozen or so workers ahead of his opponent at this point, which is pretty neat, right? Good position to be in for sure. Estrella right now also confirms... Oh my god, Estrella, you're playing with the D.Va announcer? Oh, no! Anyway, um, he does now check as well for his opponent's third base right there on the left side of the map. That one is, uh, is not acquired yet. Recall right there by Trap. One more, uh, one more Phoenix, apparently. Not gonna bother even attacking the shields of the others. Doesn't really matter anyway, but this right now puts Estrella once again in a really good position after a bit of a tough start. Already you can see how complex Protoss versus Protoss is. This is an extremely difficult matchup to, uh, to play. Because the follow-up usually, right, after this, like, early game shenanigans, is the disruptor part. So most of the time this is followed up right now with Blink, Stalker, and then a bunch of disruptors. Disruptors are one of those units that are extremely difficult to control properly as well, so we'll see how this is gonna go. Supply counts though, still dead even. That does mean the trap has a little bit more army supply. Part of that is uh, caught up in these Phoenixes, of course, which are absolutely phenomenal. Phoenixes are a little bit awkward sometimes in other matchups to have, because they can... Uh, they can kind of kind of be dead weight, but in this matchup, obviously, you can still harass quite effectively. You can use them as well to pick up, say, for example, your opponent's disruptors, or for example, the immortals if they decide to go for that. So they have a lot of value in this matchup going into the mid game as well. Whereas any other matchups, they can be a little bit more a little bit more shaky. Now Blink is done, so one of those guys will get shot out of the sky. Apparently, this is the moment though uh, for Trap to go ahead and plant down his own Dark Shrine as well. Obviously, there is going to be detection here available for Estrella, but the question is, will that be at the right place at the right time? Trap needs to get something done, though, because at this point, like I said, Estrella's like a dozen workers ahead. It's very difficult to catch up, especially if your opponent now uh, has a fully mined out, or a fully mining base right here, right? So that's, yeah, not really something you want to have to deal with right now if you're trapped. He needs to get something done. Now, <laughs> the age-old adage is that when behind Dark Shrine, right? If you can get it done, there certainly is potential there, but it's difficult. It's very difficult. Alright, Trap decides to plant down one of his own proxy pylons. I'm assuming that those DTs that he plans on warping in are planning to head on over to watch the third base as well. Speaking of third base, Australia apparently trying to see if he can potentially get the kill right here on his opponents. Blink is done, obviously, on his side, so oh, good control there. Let's pick up a couple of units. Let's check out uh, the DTs, though. I mean, I'm assuming they're going to be warped in over here. It's the only... Logical location. Apparently Trap may have panicked for a little bit there and decided to go for uh, a Robo facility first, but here we go. Two Dark Templar on the production tab. Three Dark Templar on the production tab. Is he gonna split them up? Where's he going? Why is that one going in that direction? I have absolutely no idea. Yeah, look. So they're already rallied towards different locations. This one is to the natural. 
This one is headed towards the main base, and then this one over here that got warped in a little bit later, I think intentionally, is now moving over towards the third. Estrella is making himself up for what seems to be a bit of a, a bit of a push, but he needs to be very careful because right now he hears that all of his forces are under attack. There are units literally everywhere. He needs to be so careful. Already seven of those probes end up going down. He decides to retreat right now with his big stalker ball, so that's super nice for him, but uh, this is... Uh, yeah, it's difficult to commit to the Stalker Micro while simultaneously trying to defend at home, right? But these DTs, man, the one in the natural apparently was cleaned up, the one over at the third base is running for his life. 18 probes, 19 probes! End up going down here. 20? Make it 20, man. Nice even number. I agree. There it is. Alrighty. So, went behind Dark Shrine twice in one game. <laughs> that, that was, yeah, unfortunate right there for Australia, but this right now... Puts Trap back on the map. Now, I love this body blocking over here. <laughs> the Dark Temple is like, hey guys, I wanna. Hey, guys. Observer, though, super slow. Where is the guy? There's two of them. Okay, there he is finally showing up. That was the saddest DT ever, man. I feel like it could have maybe killed a couple of those stalkers, but Trap had already given up on him. Apparently, he uh, he performed his duties, and that was it. No, no respect at all for the life of the Dark Templar itself, I suppose. Anyhow, so that all of a sudden just now, uh, yeah, cleared up the advantage quite a bit, right? So there's the Robo Bay coming up here for Trap. Is there already a Robo Bay for Estrella? Uh, I'm really bad at spawning structures here, but I'm pretty sure there's not. Although it may have been on the, on the structures tab, man. I'm not gonna embarrass myself again. I've done that many times. Now, yeah, that's way too many Immortals. That's four Immortals here. There's no way you're gonna fight that, especially with those shield batteries present here as well. Uh, apparently, ooh, the Dark Templar over here gets a couple of kills. Not bad at all. Ah. You know what? That's a lot of worker kills in such a short game. <laughs> nice. So, now all of a sudden, we're at the near 12-minute mark. And the game is, yeah, kind of even, I would say. Estrella is still slightly ahead. In supply count, at the very least. But I like the sophistication of Trap's unit composition quite a bit more. I mean, these Immortals can kill, like, a bunch of them, or a bunch of those Stalkers each, right? Now, usually, like I said, the follow-up in these kind of scenarios is gonna be the Disruptor, so already Trap is making two of those bad boys at once. He's producing them first. Purification Novas are absolutely terrifying, obviously. You can also blow up your own units, though, which is what I am very well known to do. It's a difficult unit to control properly, but these guys are extremely good. Now, Australia, uh, ugh. I don't know, I didn't really like that push too much. It looks like a couple of Stalkers there for basically nothing. Okay. So there's the Robo Bay here for Australia. Decides to add on uh, another Robo facility of his own, but he does not have the fourth Nexus. Hmm? This army is very mobile, though, for Australia. He doesn't know exactly where the army here in blue is, but I feel like Australia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go, go. You can go kill that. Easy. Right now, he has the confirmation as well. That observer sacrifices itself, but I think he can get the kill right there on that base quite easily. That does mean, though, immediately Trap already decided to give up on it. I think he's trying to see if he can get a surround right over here on this army. Or at the very least, like, intercept it on its way home. Does Estrella pick up on this? He does see this army right now. Immediately decides to back off. That means that his fourth base is gonna be in a little bit of trouble. Hmm. Oh, Stalkers actually find a couple of free Disruptors. That's always nice. I think they're... Ooh, ooh, watch out, watch out. Actually, he decides to engage even more. Yeah, oh, ho, ho. <laughs> that was a butt clenching one right there, right from the get go. Okay. Um, not entirely sure why I decided to get that aggressive. <laughs> that seemed a little bit much. I, I assumed he was gonna need those stalkers back at home again as well. Ooh. Regardless, he's now even got triple robo facility, chrono boosting out his own disruptors, and just like that, we arrive in the PvP mid game. Maybe a little bit later than we normally would, but we arrive in the Protoss versus Protoss butt clenching contest. <laughs> I think that's what we call it. So, real quick, in case you're unfamiliar with Disruptors, Disruptors are a unit that have an ability called Purification Nova. It explodes after a couple of seconds. Now, there's a caveat, because it explodes on your friendly units as well. And while it's channeling the Purification Nova, you can move the Nova around. But if the Disruptor gets killed while it's channeling, the explosion does not go off. So, there's so much micro potential. Like, th that was a little bit weird. Uh, there's so much micro potential here in, in, in this, you know, stalker disruptor era in PvP. It's extremely difficult to pull off, very hard to play properly, but it has a lot of potential if you do it well. Oh. <laughs> Blink is done. 
He can't see these units, by the way. He doesn't have a lot of detection. Well, actually, there's a photon cannon. Never mind. I think he did see them. Regardless, here we go. This is where the battles become very hectic. Oh, oh. That's what I mean, man. Did you, did you clench already? <laughs> like, oh, no. Oh, dude. I feel like you can... As a commentator, I feel like you can commentate disruptor stalker battles with action sounds mostly, okay? This can be like uh, one of those Jackie Chan movies. <laughs> I haven't seen one in a long time. Maybe I'm confusing the title with someone else but, or with something else. But you get what I'm trying to say. Anyways, fifth next is being acquired here by both players. Australia's gonna have to cancel his. Australia is currently in a really good supply lead though. But, like I said, this can all be over with one big disruptor hit. Trap now securing his own fifth base quite a bit quicker. Although there are some stalkers here going in for the counter attack. DTs are roaming all over the screen as well. Like, basically, if you're a player who uses the all army hotkey as their main unit composition, right? Or as their main way of maneuvering the army, you're never going to be able to get anything done in PvP. <laughs> Like, you can do that maybe a little bit against Zerk sometimes, right? Other than maybe pulling the unit away from the wall off that's, like, supposed to... This is so nasty. Look at that. Oh. Uh, other than, like, maybe pulling the Zealots out of the wall, but this is such a difficult matchup to play well. So, look at the moving parts all over the map, right? Big red army over here. A couple of reinforcing Stalkers there for Trap as well. Trying to grab some of the opposing Stalkers at the same time. Ooh, Disruptors do get targeted down. He decides to blink on top of them, and for some... Some odd reason there, Estrella did not just lose all of his units, now using his own disruptors right there to zone away against his opponent. That was an absolutely phenomenal engagement right there for Estrella. Needs to be careful though, he's not home yet. Couple of the Immortals right here from the left also take a big purification Nova to the face. Trap is gonna, or rather Estrella is gonna end up losing most of his own disruptors there, but I do think that that was a worthwhile engagement. He's now acquiring his own fifth base here at the bottom. That was a very scary fight, though. Once again, though, since he's taking the retreat path over here at the bottom, it means that Trap can make a beeline right now for, I guess, this third base. Estrella could try and utilize Rico if he really wants to. Once again, it's like a it's like a lion trying to growl, okay? Back off here for a little bit. Barking dogs don't bite, though, right? Well, these do bite, actually. Never mind. These, these bite very hard. Is that a saying in English as well? It's a Dutch saying. Bluffende honde bite niet. There you go, there's your Dutch saying for you. Um, it's like, barking dogs don't bite. I think there's probably an English equivalent if that's not the one. Regardless... Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Nexus now falls on the other side of the map. Really nicely done here by Trap. Zones away against his opponent in the same way that we saw Estrella doing it. And this is like, the craziest mirror ever, right? This is like... Uh, we first saw... Astrea going Stargate, then Trap went Stargate, then we saw Astrea going Dark Shrine, and Trap decided to go Dark Shrine, then we saw Astrea going in for a big zone, and then Trap decided to go and zone out his opponent, and they both sniped each other's third bases. I mean, this is as close to a mirror matchup as possible. Astrea apparently decides to see if he can potentially target fire down that Nexus up top. Runs back once again to the safety of his disruptors. They do connect right there with, I think, one Zealot and then also a Sentry. Same time though, we once again have the DTs, and look how much damage these guys deal. Even though there's stalkers here in detection, yeah, I think it's gonna be defended. Oh, is it? Oh, that's so close! Oh my god, yeah, he will be able to clear that. But that is, that's scary. My god. Battery overcharge, very good ability. You gotta make sure you manually target that right there, by the way, if you're trapped. It doesn't automatically start healing up the Nexus, so... Oftentimes what happens in a game like this is you're like, your Nexus is under attack! And you look at the Nexus and it's already dead. So you have to be very, very good at your map control and like your map awareness. Recall right now being forced here, a couple of the Stalkers apparently. Trying to see if they can... Uh, yeah, prevent that Nexus here from falling. This is an absolute slugfest of a PvP, I love this. Alright, so how many PV or how many Disruptors are we at right now? It's only 5 versus 7 actually. I guess a lot of them have gone down, yeah. 13 and 6, respectively. Okay. Now, I don't really know what the late game of PvP is like currently. Like, it seems that transitioning to watch Skytos makes sense, but it's ugh, very difficult to do. Oh! oh, 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 oh. <laughs> this is what I mean! You can just commentate in action sounds, man. It's all you need. 
<laughs> oh, 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 that that's all you need. <laughs> I turn it to Santa here. I guess it's it's you know, it's it's near Christmas time now, right now. So uh, that's okay. I can turn it to Santa at any moment. All right, once again, DTs of course up top. Uh, yeah, this base can easily be killed, but here's the oh, the disruptors. Immediately, Estrella makes now a beeline towards the uh, top section of the map. He wants to apparently finish what he tried to start earlier. Big recall though, being utilized here as well. Is he gonna be able to pick up enough? Only Stalkers actually got recalled, so that is something you can micro against. Prism ends up going down. At the same time, we do see a couple of the Dark Templar on the right hand side picking off a couple of those probes. This base will never ever finish for Estrella, will it? I don't think so. Once again, Trap is uh, trying to acquire his own one in the bottom left hand corner. 25 additional workers end up going down. Whew. <laughs> Look at that. We're approaching 100 dead probes here in a game of Protoss versus Protoss. I just want to emphasize that on the ladder, the majority of the games of PvP end within like the first five minutes, it seems. Man, the mirror matchups in StarCraft have gotten so good, right? I mean, Terran versus Terran is fantastic. Zerk versus Zerk is really good as well at the tippity top of the skill level. I might actually end up casting um, Serral versus Raynor that recently happened as well, if anyone's interested. Um, I'll, I'll, yeah, probably do that in the near future. I know my previous pro game cast was... Oh, actually, no, 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 never mind. I, I casted Clem as well recently against Maru, right? So that was a, a TVT, but... Yeah, I've been casting a bunch more mirror matchups recently. It's just that they're really good these days as well, man. Historically speaking, the mirror matchups were always a little bit eh. Once again, nice snipe over here by Trap. Perhaps not a Nexus up top, which is really well done. But in the meantime, Trap has had this base now. And he's just going to transfer, I think, all of those workers in that direction. Astraea hasn't actually seen that yet. If he would have simultaneously gone for a push over to, to that direction, I think this would have been fine. I mean, it's still... Uh, don't get me wrong, the Trap is still in a really good spot here, but... That would have, I think, uh, had the potential to seal the deal, right? Anyways, so, Trap <laughs> is not going to be able to break through this Nexus point very easily at all. Once again, he does, though, manage to now to uh, make his way towards the other side of the map, and he's going to be able to snipe that Nexus super easily. I've been talking about pro losses in this game, and that's that's fine and all, but how many, how many Nexi? Ooh, okay. A couple of those Immortals apparently were not meant for this world anymore. How many Nexi? It's actually only two each. I guess there were a couple of cancels in there as well that don't show up because they're not kills. Anyways, these Nexus snipes here all the time are pretty insane. Yeah, when you're fighting without your own Disruptors present, this is not really a battle that you can easily take. Okay. Estrella has been, for quite some time right now, 20 to 30 supply ahead of his opponent. And because of this constant battling, it seems like Trap is having a very hard time catching up. What a battle. Anyways, back in the day, like I was saying earlier, we had some bad matchups. It's not that a whole lot has changed, it's just that, it's just that players have gotten better. This is a great example of a game exactly like this. Like, this can be over so quickly. <laughs> Once again, like, remember when pro gamers used to use the old army hotkey as one of their main ways of hotkeying things, man? That is definitely not an option anymore, even in, like, Diamond League. Oh, 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 oh! Okay. You can only look at one thing at once, right? So you have to be so fast. <sighs> Trap knows he needs a couple of observers here. Oh, the Dark Templar actually decided to just blink on top of all of those Stalkers. Yeah, DTs, they're very formidable fighting units. Once more, though, Estrella right now making a beeline towards the top section of the map. The same can be said right here for Trap. He's got the majority of his army over here. Now, there are a couple Disruptors. You don't want to use them all at once. If you use them all at once, you're obviously going to be in trouble. Nexus over there will be cancelled at the last possible moment. I have no idea how Trap find the headway right there to apparently... Uh, now also actually cancel that, but it doesn't really matter. Recall is being utilized right here on most of those disruptors, so that means ooh, that those stalkers in red are gonna have to retreat once again. <laughs> this is so close. I haven't even paid attention to upgrades, but I'm just gonna make the assumption that it's pretty much even. Yeah, it's pretty much even. Okay, good. There's so many things to look at. Oh, oh. While this is going on, like, how do they... So much micro. Ooh. 
There you go. That's the butt clencher you've been waiting for the entire time, right? Oh, oh, what? Oh, ho, ho, ho! trap. No way. That was like such an innocent moment as well. That seemed like the easiest one to dodge, right? He's been dodging really difficult disruptor hits all this time, left, right, and center, while multiple engagements are going on, and you wonder how he's doing it, and then while it's a relatively quiet moment, he takes two really big balls to the face. Uh, <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't take that out of context. Well, you try, you, okay, well, I'm not even gonna try and salvage that. <laughs> there's no way, there's no way to come back from that, okay? I have nothing. But you get what I'm trying to say, right? Context is important, okay? Don't hold this against me. Dark Templar right now being used defense. <laughs> I can't, okay, I can't go there. Anyways, Dark Templar are being, uh, being used defensively. There you go. That's what I was gonna say. All right. I still think there's gonna be enough right now though for Astraea to hold on, as once again, the Stalkers are marching across the center of the map. Isn't this the Terran song? I think this is the song that the Terrans have, but... Nah, it's okay. It's a bit strange in a PvP, I guess, but I love this song. Now the question is, can Australia drive it home? At this point, he's 50 supply up, which is great. Mostly because of those disruptor hits, right? It's just very difficult to actually get into a position where you can call this, you know, this game. Oh, 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 go, oh, oh. Like, that is, one disruptor hit there is like 30 supply, right? Or maybe not 30, but that's like a very, very significant amount. It can be over in a heartbeat. Either way. Still think, though, that this is at this point Estrella's game to lose. Well, that's one way to start with losing. Yeah, you can use them in mineral lines just fine as well. A lot of Dark Templar right now being utilized right here by Estrella. He decided to jump uh, straight on top of his opponent's... Uh, what's it called? Stalkers here. So they're going to be forced to back off. Estrella did end up sniping over there at the base in the uh, bottom left hand corner. Oh, oh, oh. Man, there's a lot of dead disruptors this game right now. Okay, so apparently this is the moment where Trap decides to set up a bit of a sandwich. This may very well be one of his final moves. He now has, of course, those disruptors ready to come from the high ground, but I think Purification Nova is mostly on cooldown. Does connect nicely right there. Obviously, this is the moment as well where Estrella can easily warp in units defensively. The disruptor hits are so critical. These will once again connect and end up going down at the same time. Those Dark Templar that we saw growling away at those Stalkers earlier are now being utilized as well to go after the Mineral Line right here for Trap at the same time on the other side once again. We have more Purification Novas coming off cooldown. Trap finally manages to get some hits. But the thing is, I'm staring at that supply count and there's still a 50 supply advantage. While this is all going on, the Nexus still lives. Yes, Estrella loses a lot of army, but Trap is kind of broke, right? Like he's got very little mining. Estrella at this point still happily controlling 69 probes in total. That's very nice. Uh, he's gonna be able to get quite a bit of income with those. And I mean, if you look at the available mineral patches right now for Trap, it's basically these, right over here, right? And that's about it. Estrella has quite a bit more mining than that. Once again, manages to just barely dodge in time. Bases up north have been killed here for a little while already. Trap, he's up right now, but is back against the wall. Estrella is mining three bases, whereas he is mining about 1.5. Does that mean he's out of the game? Not necessarily, but this is definitely now getting closer and closer to an Estrella victory. Okay. It's so tempting at this point to just warp in like a whole bunch of units and go for, you know, an F2A move. Look at this. Estrella setting up what seems to be a sandwich as well. You gotta stay focused right here, Trap. Yeah! Now all of a sudden you have a bunch of those red stalkers on top of your own units as well. Zealots actually tried to go for a, uh, a sandwich right there as well. It was like a, I don't know, it's like a triple Big Mac kind of, kind of, kind of sandwich. It's a really strange looking one. I was like a bun on top of a bun, and then another bun, and then uh, some lettuce in the center, and like a burger somewhere in there. Well, this is almost just robbing salt in the wound right now. Estrella has got a lot of additional resources, so he's like, you know what? If you're not going to be mining that one anymore, I guess, I, I guess I'll take it. Trap doesn't know about this, actually, so this could become a problem now. 
If I was Estrella here, I'd just do like three big warp pins and just a tech move. <laughs> I would get very, very scared at this point of letting this game go on for longer. Right? Arc on Immortal Zealot, it's not it's not that great in this matchup, but it certainly seems to drive home an advantage. Anyhow. Estrella though. Miles better than me with Protoss. So well, Miles better than me with all races, probably. Oh, man, he's taking this base over here. Yeah, this is safe. Like, this is a very safe approach, right? Even though this is an extremely hectic matchup, it still does still... Uh, it still follows ooh, the basic rules of StarCraft, where, generally speaking, more stuff beats less autonomy is one of the main reasons you can win a game. Look at this. Trap right now forced to go all the way over there to try and deal with those Zealots and Dark Templar. And this opens up the opportunity right now for Estrella to try and move over here. Trap obviously knows that this is going to happen, but there's not a whole lot he can do about it. He needs to make sure that I guess... Oh, the Disruptors are going on an adventure by their own. But anyways, I guess he needs to use his own Disruptors right there to zone away these units. Estrella, though, has the resources to throw away right now. He's now mining one of what would be his opponent's bases. Estrella apparently sets up the Disruptor Sandwich here as well. They're coming in uh, from the other side, and at this point... I think you just blink on top of them. Pick them off one by one. There it is. Purification Novas are going down. Nexus over here will live for a little while longer, but Trap is going to lose his final mining base. And with that, I think that this is Estrella's game. Extremely well played right here by the North American Pro Tools player. Phenomenal gameplay. <sighs> I mean, well, actually, I said that. I mean, there's still the base over here. Nah, I mean, there's no way Trap is gonna hold on to that, right? For some reason, it, even, it didn't even register to me that this Nexus was acquired here a little while ago, but... You get what I'm trying to say, the same answer still holds true. A beautiful one-two punch here by Estrella. Just, uh, yeah, distracting on the one hand, and then apparently going in for a hit on the other. Look at that. that is so many dead workers in one game of PvP. This base over here is still not scouted, by the way, I don't think, yeah, so Trap doesn't realize that his opponent has got even more mining than he actually assumes. There it is. GG is cold. And just like that, Astrea obtains the victory. Hope that you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, hit that like button down below. If you want to see more, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button so you get notified as soon as future videos go live. For now, I want to thank you for watching. Have an awesome day. Don't forget to smile, and I'll see you once again in the next one.